ladies and gentlemen, our return episode was red hot, but get ready for New Wave Pro to go supernova! I am your not-so-humble correspondent, Robert Black, and New Wave Pro has new champions, new titles, a battle royal, and new wars across the board. And that board is going to be moving fast with a beautiful silver and jade belt ready to be snatched by the first man that can grab it. Get ready for the most intense experience professional wrestling has to offer. Let's get back to higher ground. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to kick off higher ground. Uh, Robert Black here with uh, Magic Mike Kirkman. And I have to tell you, the, uh, the Pop-Tart Nation seems to be gaining some steam here. Oh, it definitely is, Robert. As we saw in the last episode with the Pop-Tart Boys, they were able to gain, to expand the, revol the revolution that is Pop-Tarts. And this is an amazing, amazing thing to be a part of, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. Well, I'm telling you right now, uh, Jordan Dye, Cutthroat, uh, does not appear to be amused, uh, probably doesn't feel hungry at this point. Well, especially after what happened last time here on Higher Ground, when he faced Sage Phillips, came up short in that match, so you know he's looking to take out his frustrations here on Matt Brannigan, one one member of the Pop Tart Boys, and oh wait a minute, Robert, it looks like he's going to be offering Cutthroat Jordan Die a Pop Tart. This doesn't seem like the time for a snack, in it's my opinion. It's always time for a snack, Robert. Well, you know it's always time for a snack. The New Wave faithful seem to agree with you, but they, they uh, all did, as they should. Well, Jordan Dye doesn't seem to be too enthusiastic about the whole situation, but... Uh, well, I don't think he's enthusiastic about a lot of things. Whoa! What the hell's wrong with you? Jordan, you don't kick a pot dart! That's an offense! That was strudel abuse, if ever I have seen it. That's now a side headlock by Cutthroat, but Dye lifted up, suplex, maybe being attempted here. Maybe what not. Is? Oh my goodness. Well, you're gonna act like a child, you're gonna get treated like a child, Jordan. Well, I have never seen a sleeper quite that unique, Magic Mike. I have. A rockabye sleeper is something that I have never experienced, but this is a first for both me and higher ground. Well, well, come on, man. You got to think about it. That Matt Brannigan is somebody that oozes charisma, and he wants to get into his opponent's head. And what's the best way to do it? Then to do some unorthodox tactics like that. Well, yes, absolutely. Trying to oh, share and, and of some. Of course, this he's trying to. He already knew he kicked he's the pop once, and now here he is offering it again. More of it. Oh, well, he gave it back to Brannigan and took a cheap shot. Pop tarts or not, that was unethical. Here we go. Look at this. Short and Irish. Well, wait a minute. Right into the corner, bouncing out. Cutthroat wait. hit hard, but Brannigan wait, stops him. Doing? What did. What was that? I didn't see anything. I, I didn't see anything at all. Matt Brannigan. Hey, hey, that's a great stealing. <laughs> Jordan Die is completely being out foxed and completely mind strangled by the pop tart hey, nation hey, here hey, hey, like i just yelled out that was a great ceiling i looked at i don't know i don't know what happened i don't know what you saw but well i i saw I, a beautiful ceiling <laughs> i tend to not look up in this life but irregardless jordan die is now buying some time and i don't blame him Trying to get his head back into the gut. Whoa! Abusing the referee as well as the Pop Tarts. I know. I know. What What will this man not go to? Well, he is called Cutthroat for a reason, I know but he's I. He's Pop Tarts. He's flipping off the referee. What's next? Abusing fans at ringside. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. You got it. That man is such a big jerk that he deserves to get punk kicked for kicking Pop Tarts. You're welcome. 
Well, abru abusing fruit snacks is not ethical either. But Jordan Dye, it doesn't seem. Did you say fruit snacks? I did say fruit snacks. We're not snacks. talking about fruit snacks. We're talking about Pop-Tarts. My mistake. But Jordan Dye got caught. Psychological warfare aside, and now he's getting chopped down by Brannigan. And yeah, as he's chopping the hell out of Jordan Dye right here. How? Oh, no. Oh, for Pete's sake. Jordan Dye, the big bully, as usual. Ah! Ah, that's what you get, you bully. Knife edge chop right into the post. Missed the mark, and now Brannigan is all over Dye again. Underneath the bottom rope. Um, I, I think it's pretty obvious who I'm rooting for in this match. Who you got? Matt Brannigan is definitely in control right now, but never count cutthroat short, as we saw a dynamic match with him last episode of Higher Ground. Hey, 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 hey they didn't give me a pop tart this time, so therefore you, so therefore you can't say under your breath that I was bribed to go with Matt Brannigan here in this matchup. Far be it from me to accuse you of being biased at the announce table. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, you did. You did it later on in the same episode, but we don't talk about that. Oh, Not wait a right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, look backslide, at that. but no, no dice for Jordan Die. Oh, but an eye that. rake. He that caught all wrong. of that. That was completely wrong. Well, of course it was wrong. It was an eye rake. Yeah, but it's even more wrong. They did the Matt Brandigan. I mean, well, Matt Brandigan is such a nice person. Why would you want to b bully somebody like him with those type of tactics? Well, Jordan Die only wants the win, and that's the only thing he cares about, morals aside. But right now, Matt Brannigan on the receiving end, but coming back. Oh, got him on an uppercut right there. Robert. I think that playtime is definitely over as Cutthroat is unloading with heavy shots across the chest. Look, just because he lost last time on higher ground to Sage Phillips doesn't mean he has to ruin the fun for everybody else. Well, maybe not, but that still doesn't help the sickening thud of flesh oh. and bone as another crushing uppercut, Robert, and Brannigan goes down. Oh. Well, Robert, to add on to your point, if it wasn't obvious that the fun ended um, at all moments ago, I think in that last uppercut kind of signified it did end. Well, only a two count, regardless, as Brannigan, for all his shenanigans, is fighting back hard and now giving the chops back. Well, yes, he does shenanigans because he wants to get into the opponent's head. That's pretty obvious on why he does it. However, he is a veteran in this sport, so you got to remember he knows what he's doing. Of course, that's the name of the game, but oh, the heel of oh, the boot my. right into the face, into the bridge of the nose. Oh, and he wiped his bought the bottom of his boot off the face of Matt like he was a doormat. It was still effective as now Jordan Die. Ah, grinding into the face again. Trying to separate the socket from the shoulder if he can into the surfboard. Now, say, now look at how he's stretching Matt Brandy by using his arms against him. Aaron Atlas so trying to rally. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful submission. Is caught. Matt Brandy going to tap? And he's caught right in the center of the ring. He might not have any choice, but his hands are oh, trapped. Right. Oh, into a pinning combination, oh. but no. Is so that almost into badly for Matt? Reverse wheelbarrow, but too close to the ropes. Brannigan forces there, the break. I was say, there was a rope break, and the referee also said there was a shoulder up at the same time. So, so no matter what, Matt Brannigan was not going to get pinned right there. Ah, oh, Jordan Die with the eye rake again, clearly in command. Oh, and a big boot right to the face of Matt. Jordan Die. With the control. And now here we go. Suplex, and he snaps it with a beautiful arc for One. the cover. No. Um, language. <laughs> Little saucy behavior from Cutthroat. A lot of frustration showing on his face and in his attitude. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, this ain't um, one of those shows where you can just freely curse. Uh, we we actually try, try we actually try to get um you know well sometimes you more, well sometimes you curse when you're angry you should have taken the pop tart should have taken a pop -tart. oh look at this 
And now, whoa, that was the wrong thing to say. Jordan Dye woke up the hidden beast within Matt Brannigan, and now he's unloading with forearm shots. Wait a minute, Brannigan trying to come back, springing off the ropes twice in a row. Brannigan. See, this is what happens when you curse on roughly a PG show. Well, I think it's PG, I don't know. Well, I'm certainly going to try to, but Brannigan losing control of the fireman's carry. Jordan Dye coming back with shots of his own. Kicks to the chest, elbow to the nose. Good Lord. Dye off, off the, ropes the ropes now. Oh, duck. Oh, oh my goodness. High impact shot, but still not enough. Well. Like I said, New Way Pro Wrestling does apologize for the comments of Jordan Dye. We do try to get more of a wide fan base and, uh, we, we, here on IWTV. And for, um, yeah, we, we do apologize for the BS. <laughs> That's my final comment on the matter. Don't worry, fans. Well, the accidents of television, but what can you do? Uh, you can't really do anything. It's out there. But uh, Matt Brannigan... Oh. Matt Brannigan seems to want to do something about it as he is laying in those forearms once again. Oh, slight spread! Over the top, beautifully executed. Wait a minute, what is... Wait, and it wasn't a slight spread, it was a slight pop-tart! Pop-tart kick right to the face? No! Still after, not enough! After the slice pop-tart into the pop-tart kick, it is not over. It's not over until the Pop-Tart is eaten as Brannigan going to the high rent district to the top turnbuckle. I heard somebody say that the Pop-Tart's gonna get toasted. Matt Brannigan, is he gonna fulfill the promise? Wait, oh, come on. Unfortunately, breakfast might have been canceled by Cutthroat. Who said it, Who said he could only eat breakfast, dear, eat Pop-Tarts during breakfast? Well, I certainly do. Oh, good Lord, what a cutter. From the top turnbuckle, got Brannigan a, smashed into the him, canvas. Got him a Tower of London. No, no, it's not it. What will it take to keep Matt Brannigan down? I, I don't even know. Wait, Matt has the Pop-Tart again, and he's eating it. He's eating the Pop-Tart. Straight off the canvas. That cannot be sanitary. Oh, he just spit the Pop-Tart in his face! Good Lord! Got him with a forearm right in the face! This, Robert! This has turned into the strangest Donnybrook I've ever seen! Brannigan! Finding new life and new nourishment, so to speak. Brannigan with a knee strike. Die is on rubber legs. Pile driver may be attempted here. Die blocking it. No women are taking him down right there. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's got the, the ropes. No. See, people have a lot of problems with Kevin Costner's body of work as a both a director and an actor. But if you watch Waterbody, I was like, well, no, watch the Postman, watch Field of Dreams, Dances with Balls. You'll understand, Mr. O'Reilly. I did what you asked. I know. Take care of the sins. Well, it pains me to say, Mr. O'Reilly, but I need you to do something else for me. You've seen the havoc, the destruction that Tanner Keeler is causing, and I cannot afford for him to win that higher ground championship tonight. There's Dillinger, there's Sage, there's Tanner. At the moment, I don't see any viable option. I need you to do me another favor, and listen, I know we do not have the best history together. It was only 12 months ago, hey, <laughs> in this very building that me and you had a big falling out, but when the chips are down, you have really helped me out, and I just need one more favor, Jabby. All right, Earl. Tell you what, I'll do you this favor. I beat Tanner once, I'll do it again. But if I do this for you, you owe me. You owe me. I owe you, I promise. Okay. Anything you want, Jerry. Okay, you owe me. Jesus Christ, I'm in debt when it comes to favors. I owe everybody everything. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, Nom de guerre of uh, Juan Gaston LaRue by the book, among other things, making his uh, New Wave Pro debut against another newcomer, Blake Wright, 
the number one all-round pick, and this should be an exciting match. Collar and elbow tie up into the armbar. Both of these men, consummate professionals, and measuring each other up here quite nicely. Roll through by right into the armbar of his own on LaRue. Now, I cannot even remember half of the things LaRue called himself, Magic Mike. Uh, wait, you don't remember half of I don't remember any of them. <laughs> I don't remember any of them. I, I, I kind of I like, uh, like one ear out the other type of deal. Well, slayer of giants, I, I uh, remember... manager of champions, and and uh, among other things. He has like a, I swear, the, the way it was going, I thought we had a whole dictionary dedicated to his nicknames. Well, it's quite possible. I mean, he did carry a book with him to the ring, so. An old book that looks damaged. Could be a dictionary or encyclopedia, we don't know. Yeah, but right really now, don't. he is wrestling by the book, a side headlock, but he gets it reversed by right. I, already, I, I can already tell you right now, I do not like Gaston at all. Well, I wouldn't judge a book by its cover quite yet as Gaston reaches the ropes. How many book points do you have? Well, I don't know yet. I've just gotten started. Oh, my goodness. Got but uh, Blake Wright doesn't need any book puns as right now he's in complete control of Gaston LaRue but with a shoulder tackle beautifully executed by Wright. And here we go, right off the ropes here. Wait a minute, oh, Gaston. Wait a minute, oh! Beautiful Japanese arm drag. And another one. Drop kick, point blank, and Blake Wright is large and in charge. And I didn't need a book to see that. Knee strike onto the floor. Nicely done by Wright. And now Gaston going over to Blake. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Wait a minute. Blake going over to Gaston. I don't yeah. know what the heck. Well, Gaston I, I says he plays head. by the rules. Well, my head's still trying to wrap around all those nicknames that Gaston has for himself. Yeah. I, I, this, I'm surprised the ring announcer remembered any of them, let alone, let alone every single one. Well, what I do know for sure is that he said he plays by the book. So far, that's been the case, but we'll see if it lasts. As he's considering how he walked out, he's the type of person that would lie about that. But yeah, well, right now he's pounding on the the kidney area of Blake Wright, the number one all-round pick, as he calls himself. But right now he is getting an all-around beating by Gaston Larue. That is the, that is the truth, and I think you can tell right now by the pain and anguish on Blake's face that this man right now, he's getting taken to his limit by Gaston LaRue. Yes, and t two to three modified submission maneuvers. And I believe one of the names that LaRue claimed was master of submissions. Yes, and he's was. trying to claim it now. That was definitely one of ah, his but, many nicknames. But right, many. fighting back. Many. But into the many ropes, many. forcing the break. I mean, I don't know who, who could win this possibly right now because because last time we saw Blake Wright was on the last Higher Ground episode. Of course, of course when he gave you against Tanner Keeler, you know he has some oh, right now beautiful. because he was in a losing effort in that episode. Beautiful drop kick right on the money and a double knee strike. A Meteora into the corner and now however, putting pressure on the, the temples. Well, however, like I said, we saw Gaston walk out, right? And we can already kind of tell, like, uh, judging a book by its cover, that this man's egotistical as all types of people. However, we cannot put it past Gaston that, first off, this is his debut here in New Way Pro. And two, from, from the notes I was handed when I walked in today, that this man is only 18 years old. Wow. Yeah. And he executed a beautiful butterfly suplex and almost got the win with it. But Blake Wright fighting back. The number one all-round pick. Going to spring to the top turnbuckle. Coming off. Beautiful clothesline right on the money. And LaRue is down. The man who plays it by the book may have to turn the page soon. 
as the count going on here being laid out by the referee. Both men struggling to their feet. Yeah, of course, if both men cannot meet the count of 10, that means this match is a draw. As the New Wave faithful rally it on, they don't want to see a draw, but LaRue to his feet, Damn so is right. For him right to the face of Blake. And again. Catching him right on the jaw, flush. Right ducks the third one. Oh my God. Beautiful clothesline of his own. Make it two. Right measuring him. Beautiful shot into the corner. Beautiful spine buster. Nicely executed, but only a two count. And look at the shock in Blake Wright's face. He's wondering what does he have to do to put the put Gaston down for the count. Yes, what does he have to do to make the final chapter as LaRue back up into the corner, right charging in, but two feet to the face for his efforts. Wait, wait, right. Look at this. Ooh, tornado DDT. And he caught all of it. That was beautifully done for the cover. Oh, shoulders Shol up. Yeah, shoulder popped out of there in a hurry. LaRue didn't get enough of that on the on the cover. And now look at this. Oh, look at this. One, Modi two, no. Modified small package, but it still wasn't enough. You got to wonder right now between these two men, who, who do you think has the edge so far? I know Gaston's in control, but we've seen surprises. Another roll through, but only two. There is a problem that LaRue is having because of a height advantage. Blake Wright is able to kick out of those small packages easier because he has a reach and height advantage. So do you, th so do you think Wright has the edge just because of the height advantage alone? Not alone, but there's, there, uh, uh, LaRue needs to knock him out instead of roll him up, but he might not get the chance to. Yeah, look at that, look at that LaRue. Oh, he was trying to fight against it, but in the end, he went for the German suplex. Running knee strike to the chest and chin. Could it be enough? Yes, it, it is. is. Get those sauce. Pussy Davis, Miles Morales, Justin Gao, Conan Lycan, Joey O'Reilly, and my most recent victim, Ace Perry. Dotting a fuck along the Uso, get out of there, get out of my Oh, Joseph. When are you going to give me a real challenger? The dragon of the Pacific, the Samoan Elreza, the goddamn king of New Wave Pro! Disrespect me one more time, Earl. You'll be next. Give me somebody worthy of me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize in advance if my linguistic skills are not able to keep up with the speed of this match. One half of our uh, new, new Wave Pro Tag Team Champions, Devontae Knox, along with Anakin Murphy, Nick King, and Orion Creed. Orion Reed, and here we go. Oh, good Lord. Double chops. I was about to say, I think this is just going to be a match where you just kick back, relax, and know you're about to get some good fast paced action. Absolutely right. Two shots off the ropes. Double drop kick in stereo. Of course, Devontae Knox, a brand new one half of the New Way for Tag Team Champions, just getting the Tag Team title along with Joey O'Reilly back on the last episode of Higher Ground. Yes, and jo uh, Joey O. Uh, Joey O'Reilly, the uh, first triple crown winner in New Wave Pro history. And, and is also being Devontae's first title in his career as far as I am aware. 
at least here new way pro that was his first cha championship in less than a year in his rookie career yeah. well the uh murphy and king uh the murphy Ooh. and king alliance being strong right now as Reed is on the outside, and Devonte is being double teamed. And look at this right now, Devonte being double teamed on. Look Serious at this. Irish whip. Wait a minute! Oh no, he got caught. Devonte, but they got shot. Well, King just nailed Murphy. And at Devonte, oh, got caught. What's he gonna do here? And wait, oh! Devonte with a beautiful punt right to the jaw. The King right on top of it with an elbow smash. Unbelievably fast-paced action. And uh, New Wave Pro can definitely deliver it for the cover. Two count, no. Anakin Murphy did not want to just hand King the win. Swing and a miss, and a beautiful forearm shot right to the face. And now look at this, Anakin going on Nick here. Forearm again to the face here. And now Anakin, Irish ripping him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. King to the outside. He tried. Oh, oh. and Orion just made sure he ate the mat. Suplexed right onto the wall. Wait a minute. Oh. Anakin tried for a dive. Oh, perfect timing by Devontae Knox to break up the pinfall. Yeah, that's right. Anakin just got planted, but Murphy kicked out. And now Devontae trying his luck with a fireman's carry. Roll through into the corner, and a frog splash out of it. Reed down, but Murphy saves it. And now looky, looky here. Oh, man, shoving him away. Wait a minute, look at this. Devontae tried, and now Anakin shutting him down here. What's he going to go for? Bam! What a shot by Murphy, cover, no. Anakin Murphy, if you recall, came half a hair's breadth away from winning the Crossroads title from Don't Die Miles. And now looky here, and oh my God! Reed nailed a knee strike to Devontae accidentally from the top turnbuckle, and King nails everybody! Nick King, looking for some praise, didn't exactly get it, no, but he, he almost didn't. he almost got the win though. Man, and here we go. Good cover now. One, two, no. Shoulders up. No, no such luck. Nick King not ruling the roost quite yet. Small package out of nowhere by Reed almost got him. And now here we go. What an unbelievable pop-up powerbomb by Nick King. All four of these men are unbelievably talented. Sharpshooter roll through. Look at that. Now he has him in that sharpshooter. He has it on pretty good right now. Is, is Orion going to tap? Oh, no. He didn't get that chance. Anakin Murphy right on top of it. And wait a minute. Look at this. Boom. Devonte with a blockbuster nearly took Murphy's head off. Nice shot by one half of the tag team champions, who is taking a heck of a chance being in this match in the first place, Mike. Oh, he definitely is because think about it. I think this is like the first time he's been in a match like this in New Wave Pro, and he's learning pretty quickly that this is completely different than a one on one or a tag match. Tornado DDT, maybe? No! Tried for a turning like, suplex with momentum. Yeah, because like unlike an attack match or oh, even in a singles match. Fisherman's Buster oh! right on top of Murphy. Double down for the cover, but not enough. I was about to say, when it comes to Devontae, right? The first time he's in a four-way here, because unlike in a tag match or even singles match, he, like in those matches, all you have to do is like watch in front of you. Here you have to watch from all directions because you never know who may be coming from which direction at all. Anakin Murphy with a go to sleep right to the temple. Is that it? Does he have Reed down? Yes! Ace Perry. You know, I'm not the same person that you met three years ago. Hell, I'm not even the same man you met a year ago. 
And tonight, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why I'm the Crossroads Champion. And why Don't Die isn't just a moniker, it's a lifestyle. I'm gonna show you why that I'm the Crossroads Champion. I'm gonna show you why New Wave is my home. Well, far be it from me to disparage the Pop-Tart Nation, but uh, Aaron Atlas is going to have his hands full with Adam Rohr as the bell sounds and we're underway. Now, I agree with the audience. I love Pop-Tarts too. Well, I've had my fill, but... Uh, just There's never enough, enough Pop-Tarts. Well, strictly speaking about... Uh, Aaron Atlas, former uh, ultra rapid champion. Yes. He is going to have to pay strict attention to this match yeah, so because he, Adam Rohr is no joke. And so far, Aaron is the only man with that championship to, to retain it three times in a row and actually get a championship shot of his choosing. So far, Nate Matthews so, it seems to be on the path of being the second man to do it with the, with the title. However, like you said, Aaron does need to focus on, on Aaron Rohr here. Absolutely. Sorry, Call Adam, it. Adam Rohr. Yes, and he has a decided strength advantage right here as Atlas backed up into the corner. Yeah, but I think I think me I think me having Pop Tarts over here is uh, making it a bit uh, you know, me I'm thinking focusing too much on Pop Tarts. Adam certainly Tarts. disrespecting Aaron, but whoa, Atlas turning I'm, Roar inside out. I'm, Nicely I'm, done. I'm, I'm sorry, when that music starts and I get Pop Tarts, um, I start focusing too much on the, on that. My bad. Well, if I get too hungry, I can't concentrate. What a close line by Aaron Atlas. Obviously, he can concentrate on both things. Obviously, because it's Aaron Atlas. The well, young Titan, we've seen what he can do. Absolutely. To the outside now, Atlas stalking Man. Roar. Oh, double, he got him. Double axe handle to the back of the neck. He jumped up in the air to make sure it did more damage, too. Certainly did. Chop right to the chest of Adam. Yes, the sickening smack of flesh against bone. And Atlas delivered it nicely. But Aaron gets caught coming through the bottom rope and stomping. Roar is all over him. Yeah, he's stomping on Aaron. And now, wait a minute. Oh, punch right to the face. As I said, Adam Roar is no joke. No, he now, isn't. What? I was agreeing with you. Of course. Laying the boot across the neck, and now Atlas looking to uh, to Matt Brannigan for help, but he obviously can't get any. This isn't a tag match. Yeah, this definitely is not a tag match. Obviously, we saw Adam Roar did last time we saw him here on higher ground. He came out of the gate strong and made a, a first impression pretty dominantly, in my opinion. Didn't come out the victor. But trust me, he made a good first impression, and he's looking to make a good second impression here against Aaron Atlas. Yes, he certainly was impressive, but Aaron Atlas just stomped a mud hole into Adam Rohr. Suplex, beautiful arc and over. Here we go, one, two. Oh, no, oh, rope break. Barely got out of that roar just in the nick of time. Grab that rope. Adam Rohr, sometimes called Rorgeous, as his own. Uh, that, of course, uh, is his full name. Well, his own self, his own self-declared thing. Look, beautiful shot planted One. for the cover. No. I don't know why Adam looks so shocked. It's gonna take a lot more to put somebody of the likes of Aaron Atlas down for the three count. Well, I'm sure with the way he planted him, he thought it was over, but not so much. And here we go now. He's going to go for a maybe trying, to, Maybe trying to double down on it, but a block. Wait, look at this. It's like cradle. S small package, and he got oh. him. Introducing first, the challenger from Indianapolis, Indiana. Bring me in the heart of pounds. He is the black. Well, it is time.
time for the main event, Robert. Yes, and a proud moment it is for Don't Die Miles, the proudest, possibly the proudest Crossroads champion New Wave Pro has ever known. Yeah, but however, as proud as he is, and I'm proud for the man, this is his biggest test to date, not only as the Crossroads champion, but in his New Wave Pro career as a whole in Ace Perry. Oh, you got that right. Ace Perry is perfectly capable of taking that title away from Miles. But the speed of this contest Let's should be extraordinary. Right yes, Ace Perry is a phenomenal sportsman. I know it's a rare thing to see in New Way Pro, a show of respect before the match. Yeah, something I cannot say about one Tanner Keeler. I cannot believe. Oh, I, bet that, I bet that was fun. I saw him coming coming over here, and I decided to let you have that all to yourself. Uh, on second thought, let's not talk about that. As a side headlock by Ace Perry, Miles, beautiful reversal there, and a nice cartwheel. Miles. What is Miles doing here? Is he taking a drink of water here? Huh? Needs to hydrate as all athletes do. The champion taking his time. And of course he can afford to because he has the champion's advantage. Exactly, because Ace Perry needs to beat Miles, not the other way around. Remember, if Miles does get disqualified or counted out in this match, he will retain the championship. And that includes yeah. if this match goes into a draw. He'll lose the match and the winner's purse, but he'll hold on to the gold. Yeah, he'll hold on to the Crossroads yeah. Championship, so. Yeah, and the ace is well aware of it as he just showed Miles something that he's right. got in store. Oh, look at this. Talk about fair play right here. He's getting a drink of water himself. To be fair to all athletes, remember, hydrate. Yes, and not only in training, but when you're in, but during the action as well. Absolutely. You, you, have, you have an opportunity to hydrate, hydrate. Look at the... Beautiful timing, drop kick to the side of the head. Yeah, listen, Miles took the opportunity to get, take the advantage here in the early going, and he is making sure, oh, they gets all that he can out of it. Springboard into the crossbody, but not enough. The champion saw an opening, took advantage of it, and now the diamond in the rough is having a serious problem. Miles, beautiful spring off the ropes. Now looking at rolling through right here. What is going to happen here? Off the ropes. Going over and now. Look at this leap frog. Oh man, drop down. Look at this. Oh my goodness, a beautiful drop kick in the center of the ring. The challenger turned it around and found the mark right across the face of the champion. Arrogant cover though. But still a two count. Well, that was the effectiveness of the drop kick more than the cover. He nearly took Miles' head off. But that was a big mistake on Ace's part. If he had top stacked that that cover, he may be the champion right now. Yeah, exactly. That arrogant cover instead of maybe hooking the leg or even laying your body on top of your opponent at all just to apply some type of pressure so he doesn't get his shoulders up off the mat. That is why I think cost him right there because he probably had the win right there. If you do not cover with the maximum effort, it is a grave mistake. Exactly. But Ace Perry does have plenty more opportunities in this match. He has the talent to become the new Crossroads champion. But it is going to be interesting here to see what happens. Can Don't Die Miles retain or, or are we going to see a new champion in Ace Perry? Well, if Ace Perry has anything to say about it, we will as a beautiful shot right to the chest for the cover again. That time he did it right, but it still only got two. Well, obviously, Ace Perry's not the type of person to make the same mistake twice, especially especially in the situation like this when there is a title at stake. Absolutely. No, oh, grinding the fist into the ribs. The soft points are out the window now, for Ace Perry. I think it's obvious to tell that there being a sportsman-like match went out the window as soon as as soon as soon both men drunk their water and started to go at each other. Oh, what a shot into the rib cage by oh. Perry. Now, no rules have been broken yet. You have to give Perry that much credit, but still, he is going to go after Miles. This is no longer a friendly contest. This is about money and metal. And look at this, Miles, however, trying to get out of this. He got his arm unhooked. 
Can don't. he get out of predicament? Wait. Oh, he oh, we... oh he the just... champion not appreciating the ribcage shots that he got. Oh, and oh an my... answer to the face. Holy crap. I am surprised. You get slapped in the face, you get a boot to the face. I am surprised that Miles has teeth in his head after that shot. Perry rams him into the buckle. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at his ace Perry now. What's he? Oh, he just. Oh, my goodness. He is pouring water all over Miles. Now it is not friendly at all. Ace Perry is going to take no prisoners. He wants that gold, and he wants it now. But the New Wave Pro faithful are all in on Don't Die Miles. Obviously, the, the respect that Ace Perry had for Miles went out the window when Miles he tried to get the, tried to get the you know, early going in this match of getting the advantage. That, that just angered the man. And, we're seeing another side of Ace Perry that we did not see when the bell rung at the beginning of this match. Absolutely not. Scoop slam, beautifully executed textbook by Ace Perry. Anger, frustration, and desire make horrible bedfellows, but it might make Ace Perry the new Crossroads champion if he can keep Miles at a disadvantage, and he plants him again. As this, oh, well, Perry says he can take the title whenever he wants. We'll That's see. Such an egotistical statement right there. But if he can keep him grounded, he can. And he plants him a uh, third time. He needs to stop under Wait a minute. Is he about to go for a cover here? Yep. One, two. Nope. Count, kick out the count of two. Uh, As I was about to say, you, Ace Perry needs to stop taking Miles for like Miles lightly here and stop underestimating him because me and you have both seen Miles when his back is against the ball he comes out swinging and in the end he does pick up the win absolutely right but right now the challenger is large and in charge and if uh, if if don't die Miles wants to stay alive in this thing and stay the champion he's gonna have to do something to rally oh and Ooh. Giant the, forearm to the face. The challenger clocked him right across the temple. Two or three more of those, and this will be over. That Miles right on top with the answer. And now look at this. Miles off the ropes. Oh, oh right to a drop kick. Right to the heart of Miles. He's still alive, but for how long? And now look at Ace Perry. Once again, talking to himself like anybody cares. He's taunting the champion. Maybe that's good strategy, maybe not. Wow. Ace Perry putting the back. Oh, and onto the fingers now. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, no. Oh, no. With the water again, Ace Perry looking to Not humiliate again. the champion. He this is uncalled for. Not again. What is he about to do now? He already poured what? it on him. And what about, oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Payback! The challenger just got a free shower, courtesy of Don't Die Miles, and the Miles Crossroad champion, Springboard DDT! He got a good he got a good spin on a DDT for that springboard tornado DDT. What a shot. Both champion and challenger expended the maximum energy on that effort. Tornado springboard DDT however, indeed. Are, however, Robert, we are now at a count of five. If both men cannot answer to the count of ten, we are gonna have a draw and Miles will retain. Automatically, the champion's advantage. You got that right. But Miles makes it to his feet, breaking the count. Wait a minute, look at his face coming in. Oh, no. Charge and a miss by the challenger. And a drop kick of his own. Shining wizard in Sagiri. Nicely done. And now look at his. Oh, wait a minute, sitting him over. Miles over the top, shoulder block in answer. And now coming into the ring here. Got him. Roll through into the face plant by Miles. Is it enough? Deep cover? No. 
What is it going to take for Don't Die Miles to retain the championship? They don't call him that without a reason. Miles, we've seen him do this before, but Ace Perry is ever dangerous, and if anybody can kill the title reign of Don't Die Miles, it is the diamond in the rough. And now Don't Die Miles going up. Is he gonna go for it? Is he thinking shooting star? Oh wait, no he wasn't. He saw Perry move, adjusted in midair, but Perry, the challenger, oh! oh! Point and counterpoint into a German suplex and a super kick. One, New two, champion? No! Oh! Don't die, Miles kicked out at two. I don't know how these two he has have the heart of a lion, man. He's a, he has the heart of a champion. An indomitable spirit possessed by Don't Die Miles, but Ace Perry is in control, and you better believe that he is ready to rip out the heart of this champion if he can. The challenger stalking the Crossroads champion and sends him face first into the buckle. I think we can tell that Ace Perry is getting more and more frustrated the longer this match goes on. Absolutely, but the challenger rocking the world of Don't Die Miles. What does Ace Perry have in store for Miles? Could the dream end right now? Superplex from hell. No, blocked by Miles and again into the rib cage. Don't oh. Die knocks Perry off. Wait a minute, and, oh wait, Kip up right there. Wait, what's he doing? The challenger right back on him. And superplex! Wait a minute, look at this! He held on and look at this! Oh my goodness! What a beautiful shot! What is wrong? Holy crap! Shoulder up at the count of two! Last millisecond! Ace Perry could have had him! If only he had not made that arrogant cover, Magic Mike! Once again, an arrogant cover! A wasted opportunity! Ace Perry showing his frustration, but he's not only himself to blame. The frustration on his face. See, Ace Perry's making a mistake. Instead of instead of staying on the attack, he was getting frustrated. He was wondering, oh. the ring, wondering what went wrong right there. Instead of maybe trying to capitalize even further on the weekend miles. But he's He's back on top again though, Ace Perry. Whipped to the far side buckles. The champion getting his foot up right at the last second. Perry charging again over the top, goes Miles. And now sending him into the corner. Oh, kicked to the side of the head. The challenger catching the temple. Miles being literally rolled like a sack of potatoes under the top rope. Sm Smashed across the face, but holding on. The champion barely holding on and eating the turnbuckle once again. And now look, wait, what does Ace Perry have in store? You have to be kidding me. Wait, Miles. Miles blocking it. The challenger may be taking way too many chances. Oh! Miles with a kick of his own. And now Miles, what is he gonna do here? Springboard! Springboard! Into the stunner, nicely done. Got him with a cutter there, and now Miles. The champion giving it all he's got, and again, another shot. And now is Miles, is he getting ready to go for what I think he's about to go for? Wait a minute. Oh, no, never mind. He got him with a third cutter. That may be all over for the cover. No. no. Shoulder up at the last millisecond. Unbelievable. The count going on here. Don't die, Miles. And the Diamond Ace Perry. One hell of a contest and a, a great main event for higher ground. This has My, been epic so far, Robert Black. And all for the all-important all Crossroads title. Ace Perry for the pickings right now. And now Miles shooting oh, star oh press. Oh, my God. The catch.
clutching the knees right at the last second. Small package. No. My oh, Holy crap, Cutter! Cutter of his own. Springboard off the ropes and make it another. Perry. Oh, oh my goodness, he got him. Miles, Miles got him. Holy crap. Callic kick. Nicely done. But Ace Perry took that shot. Oh, good God. What a shot by Miles. Does he have him? Yes, he does. What a main event, Robert. Possibly one of the greatest I have ever seen on higher ground. Don't Die Miles living up to his name in every way possible. Retaining that beautiful orange and gold title. And he earned every stripe of it tonight. Yeah is one way to close out this episode of Higher Ground, if I do say so myself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your not-so-humble correspondent, Robert Black, from Magic Mike Kirkman saying so long from New Wave Pro. Wait a minute. What the hell? Now, we can sign out of here.